Hey, what's up? Well, I'm making another video. Gotta make as many as possible because whatever video doesn't get made within the next, what? Oh my gosh, we're already the seventh. So within the next 12 days, any video that I don't make will not be made in my 30s and probably not even this summer. Okay, so what I'd like to talk about in this video, see, I want to kind of stabilize that camera. Um, we're in my anchor pendant. I want to title this video, Why Older Girls Should Do Laundry. And I know, you know, I shouldn't really have a strong opinion about such things, you know, considering that I didn't really do laundry until, well, pretty much I went and lived with my dad a few years ago. All the years I lived with my mom exclusively and all the times I've been to her house, she pretty much does all the laundry. And she's always insisted on that. Okay, and what I want to talk about, um, you know, instead of, rather than make yet another video about that stupid movie that I should never have gone see, I like to talk about how, um, you know, how older girls should do laundry. You know, and I wish, I personally wish that I'd been made to do, made to do laundry as a teenager. You know, I wish that I had started earlier in life doing laundry for the simple reason that, well, I was going to have to learn it anyway. You know what I'm saying? I mean, unless you're extremely rich, you know, and you can get a maid to do it, you're going to have to do your own laundry at some point. And um, what better time than when you're an older teenage girl? Um, so, yeah, I just believe that older girls should be made to do laundry. Um, and I'm talking about that because, um, you know, as I look back on my sister's life, um, you know, because... As I've stated, you know, my mom didn't believe in making us do laundry because she thought we should do our schoolwork and other things and that she was the one who should be doing laundry because that was her job, not my dad and not us. But, you know, if the kids are boys, I mean, I can understand feeling that way that, you know, they shouldn't have to do laundry. But with girls, you know, they need to learn as soon as possible that they were put in this world to clean up messes, not make them. And certainly not make them without cleaning them up with the expectation that others will do so. You know what I'm saying? Um, women should, at the very least, clean up behind themselves. And ideally, they would clean up behind others. And I just feel like, um, you know, it just makes me so mad. You know, when people suggest... Um, when someone stupidly puts their daughter's dirty laundry or airs their daughter's dirty laundry, you know, about pooping in her pants like my sister was doing. However rare that is in older girls, you know, it's almost exclusive to boys for a number of reasons. Um, and so I never had that issue. So, you know, there would have been no reason for me to be forced to do laundry, you know, as a punishment, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't, I did not need to be punished. So. And then when my sister came along, you know, because I didn't do laundry and still wasn't doing it as an adult living at home, you know, my mom just would have thought it unfair. You know, for my sister to be forced to do something that I never did and still wasn't doing um, as a punishment. But, you know, I really do think, you know, I got to thinking about that. And it just makes me so angry, you know, when I read the responses um, on Quora, is it, by this stupid Dan Crosby, who is Deeker and now Yob repaid, which is Diaper Boy turned around under Diaper Talk. You know, he's one of the top contributors. And he he strictly believes, it's almost like a religion with him. You know, that every boy, every single boy, if possible, should be enabled to wear diapers and use them like a baby indefinitely long. You know what I'm saying? All boys should be allowed to wear diapers and enabled by the women in their lives 
including but not limited to their mom, their sister, their girlfriend, their wife, or whatnot. Um, so all boys should be in diapers somehow in his mind. And all girls and women should be cleaning up behind them and never, ever, ever wear diapers themselves. You know, they should be forced to wear thongs. Which I think that's exaggerated and stupid. But, you know, when someone does happen to post, when, when someone posts about a boy, you know, my son is pooping in his pants, what should I do? The answer is diaper him thickly. Put a thick diaper on him. No matter how old the boy is. Um, and when it's a girl, on the, the rare occasion that someone posts about a girl doing that, it's like, well, she needs to get psychiatric help. You need to get her checked out by a doctor. But, as I've stated before, you know, I mean, basically there's no woman and no girl, really, that's going to open up with a psychiatrist, or especially a male one, about her bodily functions. But, what I see is the best cure, really, for boys and girls, or the best way to um, deter them from ever wanting to do that, um, the best deterrent that you could ever have is to make them do laundry. And I feel like that's the one thing my mom never tried with my sister that could have worked or may have worked would have been for her to do her own laundry. And I feel like both of us would have benefited greatly. You know, I'm, I'm making this video in the laundry room. How appropriate. You know, behind me is a washer full of clothes that I'm about to wash. But I often wish that I could have learned at a younger age how to do laundry and all the tips and tricks because I feel like I'm reinventing the wheel as an adult, you know, and I'm about to turn 40 and I've only been doing laundry for a few years now, less than a decade, and I have learned so much. I have learned, you know, it's just amazing to me how much I've learned, you know, just from doing the laundry. And, you know, it's just amazing, you know, just how much better you get at something so mundane and simple. And it has improved my life so much, you know, I feel like so much more of an adult. Um, and I just think that older girls, you know, as soon as they're able, they should be made to help out with or do laundry. And that the few girls that ever would or do engage in such behavior as holding in their poop, you know, to the point of wetting or messing on themselves, you know, however rare that may be, I believe that most or all, probably even with the boys too, most or all children who do that could be, you know, greatly, like, discouraged from doing it. Like, they'd be much less likely to do it if only they were made to do laundry, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it might not be a 100% cure, you know, but it would definitely be a deterrent. It would definitely cut down on some of the positive feedback loops that they may be getting from it, you know what I'm saying? Whatever satisfaction they're getting out of it, um, you know, whatever they're trying to prove, you know, by manipulating mom with their most basic bodily functions. You know, Allison Schaefer had a really good video about that. Um, why kids poo in their pants, and or at least why they start doing it. And it may become more physical as time goes on, you know, and the muscles get untrained or they never were trained. But I believe that that is probably the best thing that you could ever do, and the best thing my mom could have done was to make my little sister do laundry. Um, and really, I wouldn't have mind, you know, doing laundry either. Um, but I feel like if a girl's old enough to have a period, she's definitely old enough to start doing laundry. And that that, you know, that is the real solution, you know. Force kids to grow up and stop doing things like that, not by taking them to a shrink, which is only going to be embarrassing and, ex and expensive and not get anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what kid is going to open up with a male doctor? You know, especially a girl talking to a male doctor about that. I mean, really. Um, and they're not going to be able to stop it from happening anyway. 
You know what I'm saying? You'd just be wasting your money. Um, and the problem wouldn't be solved. And um, so I just think doing laundry, you know, would be the best cure for that kind of stuff. The best deterrent, you know, for the psychological aspect of it. Um, you know, it would cut down the, the positive feedback in their mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they might still enjoy some aspect of it in some way, but, you know, the fact that they'd be doing their own laundry and dealing with all the consequences all on their own, no help from mom, no manipulation of others, you know, by doing that, um, it would drastically reduce the thrill of doing it. And therefore, the frequency and eventually the physical aspects would be cured to whatever extent possible. So yeah, my mom was enabling my sister, I think, I think she subconsciously didn't mind or may have even liked the fact that she was doing it. I don't even know. Um, you know, didn't see any rush to cure the problem or solve the problem. It was even in denial that it was a problem. Um, and, and the other thing is I had no use for shows or cartoons or movies about kids too young to do laundry, okay? Um, so if the characters are too young to really have much to do with laundry, then why would I want to watch them? So yeah, I don't want to preclude that show that I've made too many videos about. And so I'll go ahead and post this from the laundry mom.